fuck. F U C K fuck. Fuck is the world's favourite swear word online and one of the most taboo words in the English language. For centuries, it rarely appeared in print, and even today, it is often referred to as the F word or F bomb, spelled out in code or sidestepped with a euphemism. Fuck can be inserted into almost any part of any sentence in countless ways. As a verb, it doesn't just mean to have sex with, it can also mean to damage or ruin. You can use it as a noun to label someone a fat fuck, a useless fuck, or if you're feeling complimentary, a good fuck. It's a great replacement word. Someone could offer you a fuckload of cash, to which you might reply, absolutely fucking lootly. That kind of filling in mid-word is called an infix or tamesis. Fuck is an exceptionally flexible expletive. It can be used to express annoyance, what the fuck, impatience, for fuck's sake, or even shock, fuck. You might have a fuck face, be fucked up, witness a clusterfuck, and even cry fuck a duck, which is all a bit of a head fuck. A common myth is that fuck is an acronym for fornication under command of the king, from a time when the population had been so decimated by plague that the crown ordered everyone to get shagging. Apparently, couples in the act would hang signs saying F-U-C-K on their doors. This story is, quite literally, fucking nonsense. We do know the word is of Germanic origin and is probably related to ficken, meaning to rub. The Swedish fock, penis, or the Dutch focken, to breed. But all of these words could also translate as to hit and to strike. And that's how we originally understood fucking, not as humping, but hitting. Some of Fuck's earliest outings were in surnames. A Mr. Fuck beggar, Mr. Beggar Hitter, for example, was alive and quite literally kicking in the 13th century. Around the same time, a wind fucker was another word for a kestrel. But as time went on, fuck took on a very different meaning. In 1475, the Scottish poet William Dunbar wrote about a young man attempting to enter a girl's crowdy mowdy, an oldie wordy, for vagina. He wrote, by his ferris he would have fuck it, which basically means you could totally tell he wanted to fuck her. In 1663, a man called, rather impossibly, Richard Head wrote about creeping into a room and seeing someone putting the great fuck upon his weef. By the 18th century, the word was deemed so rude it could only be printed as fk. And by 1965, fuck had the nation in uproar after theatre critic Kenneth Tynan said it on live TV. Then the invention of the internet opened the swearing floodgates and we now swear more online than we do in real life, with fuck sitting up top as our favourite, representing a whopping third of all swear words used on Twitter. So, fuck truly is the mother of all swear words. Fed up with all the fuckery? Why not try mollocking, a term from the 1930s for frolicking, especially in bed. Fuck! <laughs>